Before you get too far along in Inspire Essentials, I wanted to introduce to you the Notes Browser because on a lot of the assignments that you submit, you are going to jot down a few notes for me to reference. Um, take for instance, this is a first grade flip chart uh, made by a fantastic team of teachers. But there's some things about this page that are not that intuitive. Um, first of all, if, you're, if you only do this once a year as a teacher, or if you're sharing it with somebody who's never seen this page before, um, there are some things about it that are just not very obvious. So for example, if I click on this image of the book, then what comes up on the page is actually the same sentence um, with an antonym in it. And that is true of all of these different sentences. These are actually little buttons that cause text, a different text bo box to reveal. There's also a little icon up here that if I click on it, that resets the page and it goes back to its starting position. So if I were to develop this and I wanted to share it with a colleague, it would be kind of important to have some notes for that colleague to reference about the things that are not intuitive. If you notice by looking up at the top of the flip chart, you can see this little uh, yellow post-it note looking icon. That's a visual cue to you as the viewer of this flip chart that there is a page note associated with this particular page. That's not always there. If I click on it, you'll see that a window opens on the left or right hand side. This is called your browser. And there's different parts to the browser, but it goes automatically to this section of the browser called the Notes Browser. And the teacher who created this um, put some notes in there, either as a reminder to herself or to her colleagues. The reason I wanted to show you this is because on some of the assignments that you submit in Inspire Essentials, I'm going to ask you to jot down some notes in there for me to read to be more cued in on, on what you're trying to accomplish with your work or your flip chart page. So just to review how to get the notes browser, first of all, if I click on this itty bitty little X right there, that will close the browser. To get it back, you can go under the view menu and go to browsers, but notice that there's a shortcut, command B, or that used to be Apple B, but if I click on it, that brings the browser out. I can close it this way, but you should know you can also go to your keyboard and a nice shortcut is Command B on your B on your keyboard. Command B opens the browsers and then you click on this icon to get to notes. Command B will also close the browser. So um, that's an introduction to one of an important browser feature that you're going to need to know about as you move forward.